So hey guys, what's up? So welcome to World News 28 News Channel. So let's talk about drone attacks in Saudi Arabia and Iraq have raised concerns among the Indian security agencies and the government is tightening the regulatory grip on the infect sector. The newly launched Digital Sky platform, a registration portal for the manufacturer and operators on the lines of the one operated by the US Federal Aviation Administration, is likely to introduce more stringent requirements. The fears are not misplaced, since drones constitute a new means of surveillance and a novel attack vector, and must coexist with civil aviation safety requirements. Besides military and public security imperatives, however, the government must take care not to stall the new industry on takeoff by excessive or on arbitrary regulation, which is often encouraged by the diffuse anxieties. Drones constitute a broad spectrum enabling technology which could open up or broaden several sectors. While e commerce platforms and fast food companies would like to use drones to service urban addresses like high rise apartments more cost effectively, development and environment agencies would use them to supply medicines in remote mountain areas or to deliver seas to ray forest such regions. Drones bear comparisons with communication and the internet, enabling technologies which have powered unprecedented growth across sectors as distinct as tourism and disaster management. However, communications remain government controlled until the mid 90s because of security consideration and spectrum was held exclusively by the government and the military. Recently, the opening up of the retail and e-commerce has been needlessly slow and rattled because of concerns about the economic security of the traditional retail. It turned out that the fears were exaggerated. Retail as a whole benefit from the enlargement of the marketplace and traditional sellers and distribution networks integrated quickly with e-commerce. Genetically modified Bede Brinjal demonstrated a different phenomenon, politicalization of the caution of the safety conflated with concerns about intellectual property rights caused regulation to be applied arbitrarily. The apparent trigger for India's concern about drone policy is the killing of the Iranian commander Qasim Soleimani, but in our region historically full-blooded Kal and our case of exploited angles has always been preferred over high technology. Other Consideration of the public security to demand consideration to the proposed restrictions are roughly on the lines of the recent drone regulation under the FAA in the US, but the government should assess threat perceptions logically and not expand on the theme of security without good cause. Reckless caution must not trample a technology which has the potential to open up multiple markets. So if you like the channel, so kindly subscribe to it.